The Bates International Group welcomes Cynthia Blancafor, owner of Cynthia Blancafor Creative Works, to the roundtable to talk about digital media solutions, including website building, branding through the use of engaging visuals, building a stronger online presence, and how creating dynamic digital media such as videos is essential for success of a business in today's world. Or full on, you know, uh, e-commerce website where you're selling your services or your products. Um, you know, with a buy now button, or we can even do a cart. It really depends on the type of um, products or services that you're offering. I work with a lot of coaches. So a lot of times their services aren't available, um, but just a discovery call because, you know, that type of work is very personal and, you know, you don't, they don't necessarily want to work with everybody, you know, to do life coaching. People have to actually be committed and you have to assess that before um, you take them on. So yeah, different kinds of websites. And obviously the number one reason to have one is it's your online store. So people can access you and see what you've done, um, contact you, ask you any questions. Um, I personally like to use discovery calls, uh, which you, know, you can just assess what people's needs are and if you can actually help them. Um, number two, branding uh, is super important. I designed logos and also uh, do copywriting um, as an option if you want me to help you with messaging, um, even do business coaching. I have a client right now who is brilliant <laughs> and has a lot of things to offer, but she needs structure and um, ways in which we can take her from her ideation into her business, into her website. And so I'm also able to uh, have over 10 years of doing business development. So we're actually in the process right now of figuring out you know, what is her vision, mission, goals, and what are her offerings, and then creating the language um, and marketing around that based on her niche. Um, and also, you know, with the website and branding, um, customers can give you reviews, um, and then also you can tell your story, which, uh, you know, I'm also able to help you craft that if that's not developed, and then get that out to your audience um, so they can find you. And uh, lastly, uh, have a extensive background in photography. Uh, I can do headshots. I can come to your event. I'm actually gonna be in the DMV area um, next week. So, you know, I also offer videography and photography, uh, which we can create promotional material out of that for either your social media or your website, um, your newsletter, whatever way in which you market uh, your business. Um, and then also video. Video is, is my expertise uh, where we could, you know, create a promotional video for your business. And of course, what's really um, popular right now is social media stories and reels, right? So that's more of kind of a smaller um, format uh, that we can also, uh, you know, you can create a business profile on Instagram, on WhatsApp, on Facebook. Um, you know, in addition or instead of a website. These are how different ways um, businesses are marketing themselves. And lo and behold, statistically, more people spend time on Facebook and WhatsApp um, as I was doing my research, which I thought, you know, was Instagram, but that's mostly the influencers. I think that's probably where we get a lot of our, uh, what's going on, what's cool. But um, all of those platforms have um, great potential to make money, obviously. And um, so that's in a nutshell, um, how those different services could benefit you and your business. Some statistics on um, how a website can really benefit your business is that according to Review 42, less than 64% of small businesses even have a website. So um, I imagine those businesses are either going door to door um, or, you know, with life coaches, you know, because people are so particular, it, you know, they do it word of mouth, they like it that way, they like it small, but if you're looking to expand, got to have a website. Um, and then according to the study, also 70 to 80% of potential clients are lost because they don't have a website. You know, I'm a networker. Um, I love to, that's how I really come across is at a networking meeting and meeting people, you know, I, um, you know, they feel my energy and they're like, oh, she's interesting, she's creative. And so um, you gotta have a website to follow up with them so they can come check you out. And um, you know, then you're not always gonna clench a client um, immediately. So it's good for them to kind of date you <laughs> online and see what's going on with you and what you're about. Um, 
and having the website is, uh, is key to that. Uh, some other statistics on having a video, which I know from experience, um, I have website clients that as soon as we add a video to their homepage, it's just like the engagement goes up. And so according to HubSpot, 72% um, of people would rather learn from a video about a product or service than read it. Imagine that, right? <laughs> We're all pretty, uh, pretty visually, um, you know, trained to to just see and listen rather than read these days. But um, I think all of it is very important. Um, with videos, it's an experience. You know, you get to give them an audio visual experience of who you are and what you're bringing to the world, and um, that's more important. I mean, that's more powerful than words. Uh, and then, of course, uh, according to Read Right, it increases sales by ninety seven percent. Uh, which is huge. And so if you aren't in the video world already, um, you know, come talk to me about it um, and even start yourself. Everyone's got a cell phone, uh, make a little video, you know, do a live, um, you know, I'm, I do cons consultations one off. If you're interested in doing DIY, uh, that's definitely an option. That's something that I help clients with is once we get the website up, then they want to do a blog, which is a blog with videos so that they can, um, increase traffic to their website and, and create fresh content, um, you know, with posts on their website. So the traffic that they have, let's say, you know, you have 15K plus followers on Instagram and you want to drive them to your website. And so what you do is you can have, you know, Instagram um, integrated on there along with other blog websites so that there's fresh content constantly on your website, which drives traffic and actually drives you up the SEO ladder, which um, if you don't know is search engine optimization. So when people are searching for you on Google, um, you're because you have fresh content with videos, that's gonna drop it. Uh, that's gonna bring it to the top of the search. Um, so ways that uh, Cynthia Blockfler Creative Works, that's me and I rebranded, that's my name now, very exciting. <laughs> Um, we can build websites. Uh, I have a few clients who, you know, have uh, one-off websites, which is just a one-pager. Um, you can look at my website and see how my homepage has lots of different um, dynamic ways of informing people about your story, what you do, um, you know, what's your mission, you know, pretty videos, pretty pictures, um, and, you know, that that in it itself is, is actually a very great way to start. And then I also have a um, travel agency um, client where we did a full on, you know, menu of all of their experiences, uh, touring packages, and that's pretty extensive and people can just, you know, add cart a la carte and then add, you know, if they want videos or GoPro videos. So, um, you know, now you can just have it all at the touch of a screen, it's very, it's very exciting. Um, and then I also offer consultation on, you know, how to get your Google profile up. And then as I stated, you can also have your story on, on WhatsApp and Instagram. Um, and again, I touched on this already, photo, photo and video is key. If you're gonna have a website, um, when I launched my new website earlier this year, I went and got new headshots done. It's always great to have a fresh lifestyle capture of who you are and the element that's comfortable to you. So, you know, that's very much um, attractive these days is for people to know who you are beyond your business. You know, the, the human touch, the human story element is very key. Um, and as I stated, dynamic videos uh, really convert leads to customers because in that way, you're able to create an experience where, you know, let's just say um, restaurants, you know what I mean? You have a, you have a, pictures and words versus, you know, this pretty video of, you know, the cook cooking the food and people in the restaurant and the ambiance. And there's something, excuse me, more personal to, to videos than, um, than just images. So it really depends on your budget and, and what you're looking to do and what kind of business you're in, but these are all options that you can use um, to market yourself online. And then lastly, logo design, if you don't already have a branding identity. Branding is more of obviously a larger uh, topic, you know, that involves not just your logo, but your languaging and just kind of like your whole essence and lifestyle, um, which a logo represents that. 
And so when I work with people to create logos, we go into this whole narrative first to understand who you are and what you want to bring to the world um, through your product or service. And then we go from there in terms of developing a logo that can represent um, all those things. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can check me out. That's my website. Um, and you know, I could speak more if anyone has any more questions on digital media solutions. Um, now would be a good time to ask her. Yeah, I, I mean, you said a couple of things, and you know, I don't want to take up too much time if other people um, have questions, but you know. There are a few people on the line who and who are definitely going to watch this who are in different kinds of businesses in real estate and, and in lending, for example. And, you know, what is a good balance of personal versus, you know, strictly business? Do you find that there is a good like uh, combination or is it just a matter of what your own taste is? Well, I think it depends for sure on, on the business you're in. Um, if you're talking about the real estate world, I mean, obviously, I think there the discretion. <laughs> There's not much personal information um, you want to bring. And so the type of personal story that I would bring to, for, for instance, a real estate business would be what's relevant to your client. And so as we were talking about earlier, um, Ebony, about, you know, what are the three main things people, adults or adulting, um, are thinking about which is buying a house, getting married, and having kids. And so, you know, if you have done all those three and you're looking to, you know, engage in someone to buy a house, you know, you could talk about your experience um, around those things and how it shaped you uh, to buy a house and how those elements affected your experience. I mean, I think I'd find that actually interesting if that was in the marketing and probably would stick out more than just people who are like, you know, have the I mean, I can do the, you know, the, the fancy, you know, go into the house and see it and it's beautiful and, you know, and then, and then the, the personal story is always, I think the, the you know, the X factor, uh, to be honest with you, because uh, we're all human and we go through the same things. And so I think the personal story in that regard with discretion could be really powerful and effective, um, or you could just be, you know, by the book, it really depends on your style and and what you want to do, how you want to stand out. So anyone else on the call interested in engaging? It's a small group, so you just want to say hi. <laughs> Show your face. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, it was interesting to me that you said that there, uh, you know, when you look at phone usage, most people are using WhatsApp versus, you know, like Instagram and some of the other ones that WhatsApp, I mean, what do you think they're doing on there? Uh, and, and like, does that, are they really looking at different kinds of, or are they just engaging with one another? Are they looking at business? Or are they looking, are they getting, you know, sold products? Because when I use WhatsApp, I'm just basically communicating with family and friends. I think all of the above, and and I because I've been living overseas now for the last year and a half. Um, WhatsApp is like not only, I mean, it's it's communicating with friends overseas. It's also, uh, you know, finding um, group group chats. You know, like now that I've I lived in several cities in Mexico, and the group chats are everything. Where to find? Really? Okay. Yeah. I, I had no idea. So you can actually meet people you don't already know on WhatsApp. I'm Very sorry. I, I feel like you're, this is a news flash that other people might know about, but tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, you know, in the States, we don't worry about that because we can just call each other on the cell phone, but, um, and I have T-Mobile now, so you can actually, we can, I can text in Mexico, but the thing about living overseas is you might not have service to be able to call people freely. And so there's tons of group chats, like in Mexico City, for instance, on how to find art, like what's the best delivery service if I want to get something from the States, where can I buy used clothing? I mean, you name it, it's all, I'm in like five group chats, you know, of different things. Um, and so, and there's online stores. So um, I haven't used that much. I do know a few people who um, have online stores on WhatsApp and Instagram um, and Thrive. Because, yeah, I mean, it is um, actually used overseas quite a bit because it's free. It's a free calling service and you can do video chats. 
And like I said, you can have commerce and um, it's all free to use. So. so that's that's incredible. You can actually look up groups on there. I had no idea. Well, you can't look them up. You have to be invited, um, honestly. But, you know, it's, if you know someone in a city, it's as easy as like texting them and, and them sending you a join. Uh, I got you. So. A hundred percent. Well, Cynthia, I know that this is only the tip of, you know, the iceberg. There's a lot of uh, things that you're working on. And, you know, I just want to make sure that there are no other questions, but, you know, out there before uh, I think you you wanted to share with us a few other things um, and feel free to do that. Or we can talk a little bit more about um, just media and how you can assist, especially when people are trying to grow their business. So are there any other questions out there? Um, question. So um, I know it's only like day one of this platform, but where do you think uh, the new like Reds platform will fit in with like digital media solutions? Like how do you think businesses will be able to use that platform? Will it be like Twitter or do you think it'll be kind of different? You said new threads? Yeah, it's called threads. It's uh, basically Instagram's version of Twitter. It came out, I think, like either last night or today. And oh, wow. it's been the only thing that I've been seeing on Twitter today. That so. might be something that you're dropping a little knowledge. Well, tell us a little bit about that and we'll give us and, and then we'll get and then Cynthia can give, uh, you know, their best opinion on it. So do you know anything about the platform and what it actually does for folks? Um, so I kind of just got on today. Like it basically just so what's kind of cool about it is it's directly linked with Instagram. So your entire following on Instagram, as if anybody bounce like jump makes the jump over to threads your entire following can come with you so I think that could be something cool for businesses but um I really don't know much about it I just I thought about it and I'm like I figured you may have some input well in my opinion I think you know because I, I know I look young but I'm older <laughs> um but I think the silo of you know where we've been which or, you know, honestly, a lot of people over 30 are still on Facebook, the majority. Um, Instagram is, is younger. So, I mean, if you look at the demographics, but, you know, we started as Facebook, right, which is really bulky, right? You could, but you only have 5,000 followers, right? But you could do everything and anything, groups, chats, la, la, la. And then Instagram, we, we cut it short. You know, now you can have a million followers, but only, there's no live links, right? It's just images, story, video, that's it. So now, you know, they, what they want to do, it's all about, it's all about convenience and palatability, right? So now we're going Instagram into Twitter. So now you just have one lines, right? One link in an image. So I think really it's just about accessibility and attention span <laughs> because, you know, people just, they want to give you one little tidbit and that's it. I think that, that that's pretty much what it is. It's about convenience. So um, that would probably be helpful for, for people who already have, who are influencers, um, have many friends who, you know, 30, 100,000 followers, you know what I mean? So they might want to just quick, you know, oh, check out my new fashion line, check out my new, you know, music, check out my new show coming out. Um, so it's just less bulky, I think, would probably be um, why they did that. It's interesting to me, like, maybe there's something going on here, you know, there's a connection because, you know, it seems that, maybe there's sort of this echo chamber that, you know, where people are just kind of communicating with each other, the people that they already know, and, you know, um, and just talking to people who are like them um, a little bit more so. Um, and I don't know what it all means. It's just, you know, perhaps a thought, because when you think about, you know, what most people, for example, use WhatsApp for, it's communicating directly with folks, or um, you you think about, you know, Instagram, and like you mentioned, it's not very dynamic in that there's not a lot of interaction, it's sort of you consuming whatever that person puts out without being able to interact a lot, so maybe there's something to, um, you know, this new, new app, and I think, you know, Again, being able to, if I understand correctly, Sarah, you said you're sort of able to like kind of import your whole friend list and, and yeah. have 
come follow you. Uh, yeah. And what you said, Cynthia, just an easier way to kind of, you know, grow your flock without yeah, having it's to it's work just a, too hard. So listen. It's up just another way to build. Yeah, it's another way to build your following. You know, like like I said, Insta Facebook was 5,000. Right. And then Instagram, you can have millions. And then Twitter, I mean, it's endless because the information is so soundbitey. It's just like, and you know, I mean, where was it? Donald Trump? I mean, he was like posting like every freaking five minutes, you know, like, um, you know, so it's it just, they're all tools at the end of the day, use it for what you want. Um, and they're just a tool. So, um, but I think if there isn't even any more, I would like to speak a little more about my book. Uh, that's coming out at the end of the month, and we can cycle back to the digital media conversation if there's any pressing questions, comments. Okay. No, the fact that you have this book coming out is amazing, so please do tell us about it. I think it's fantastic, and uh, we'll be helping you in any way we can, so yeah, do tell. Okay. So if you haven't already, uh, check my website out. Um, the book is on there, so um, feel free to go to the website. But basically, um, 21st Century Handbook, A Guide to Creating Health, Happiness, and Peace in a Stressful Modern Day World is my first, uh, my newborn book, my first book of many to come. And I wrote it while traveling as a digital nomad in the last year. And essentially what it is, is tools rooted in ancient wisdom and leading edge science to cultivate more health, wealth, and happiness. And these are things that I learned on my path of healing myself. Three times in my life, um, I became ill and I went to Western medicine, taking pharmaceuticals and it only made me sicker. And so because I'm a medical intuitive, meaning I'm in tune with my body, <laughs> um, I found a homeopathic remedy or healer who basically taught me how to heal myself. And so if you're not aware, the body has its own pharmacy and its own way to heal itself. I mean, just cut yourself and you just you know, it's magic, right? So the point is for me, uh, the turning point was about 10 years ago, I had sciatica, which if you don't know, is a very painful inflammatory issue uh, that starts at the bottom of the, the lower back and shoots down to the leg. And so I was at a club and, you know, I was, I was like in my twenties and, um, you know, I was drinking alcohol, eating fried food, very dehydrated. Didn't, I knew nothing about health, like food and nutrition, food, and health, right? Where do we learn these things? Except, you know, through experience, or maybe you have, you know, family who was aware of that. Mine was not. So I'm at the club, I'm dancing, boom, couldn't walk, couldn't stand, sharp pain, pow. And how do I heal this? A week earlier, I met this beautiful Chinese man at a tea house whose skin was glowing. And I told him I was a video producer. And through alignment, I had that episode the next day he called me and he said, hey, I want you to make me a video. His name was Master Wong and he was a Chinese Tibetan medicine healer study, uh, which are practices that were 4,000 years old. The Western medical system that we practice along with the food we eat is about 300 years old. Um, I think things that stand the test of time have a lot more weight and effectivity. And I knew that through experience because after sitting with him, we did a trade. Basically, I made him a promo video, which you can see on my website, and he taught me how to heal my body. So within less than two weeks, I cleared sciatica out of my body, and it's never come back, and that was 20 years ago. And it's I love that. You, you traded your services, your, your media services. So sure. Cynthia... Cynthia is very flexible. Cynthia is an amazing person that will make things happen for you. That's that's amazing, and that's like a whole nother roundtable, Cynthia. Like I'm, this and I'm coming back. Incredible. I'm coming back. I'm coming back, Ebony, in a month. We already talked about this. So a month. It's it's coming out in a month. So everybody, check this out. Twenty first century handbook by Cynthia Blanca Floor. This has been an amazing. Amazing. Does anybody have any questions before we we have one minute left in the round table, which is plenty of time. So does anybody have any questions or, or thoughts? Because we're happy to entertain them. Even about the book or uh, the launch of the book is totally appropriate because we're going to definitely have Cynthia back. We're, we're really excited and happy for you, Cynthia. Thank you. No questions. Come on, y'all.
<laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> well, that's okay. I know we're going to have plenty of questions after the launch of the book. So we'll definitely uh, make sure that we get a hold of you to come back. Would you mind putting up your first slide too? Because I think that whenever we launch the round table, um, we may have uh, the, the other one your first, the slide with your uh, bio and all. There we go. I just wanna make sure that that gets play too because uh, we may not have gotten that at the beginning, but Cynthia, I really appreciate you coming to the round table. It's always too short. And you know, this is gonna be archived for our folks who tune into our channel and uh, we really appreciate you. And we can't wait to have you back. Uh, same time, same link six o'clock first thursday of the month so we'll be looking for you if not this next month then the following but uh if you're available for uh august we'd love to see you okay thank you so much ebony and much love to everybody listening out there and checking this out i wish you all much health wealth and happiness yeah yeah so we'll be back next month and we'll be talking about wellness because you know what i think that it truly does being able to have those tools available to you um mentally um helps you get through the physical so much easier um it makes us better people it makes us better business people it makes us better humans so i'm really excited um you know and we're gonna sure things up so we'll see you guys next month and uh thank you everyone for spending your time with us and thank you cynthia thanks everybody have a good night everybody good night thank you